before I hand it off uh, to Azet and Eddie, and then we're going to open it up for Q and A. I have one final question for you from me, and that is on the whiteness of the Oscars. So we went from campaigns 2015, 2016, Oscar so white, to last year the South Korean film Parasite going home, surprising a lot of people, but it shouldn't have been surprised because it was a fantastic film with many of the top honors at the last Oscars. Do you think that that has set a precedent or do you think it's a one-off and we're gonna go back to films like yours not being recognized? Well, I think, you know, I think we might go back to, you know, like just the regularity of what the Oscars is, you know, and it might take years to do that, you know, like we might not have a foreign film make it as a feature for another, let's say three years, four years, five years, right? I think last year it was very symbolic, but also when you have to talk about the Oscars, it's very political too, yeah? It's all always about a political statement. So they might select a film that is, you know, again, that really is touching, but at the same time, it's a huge political statement in terms of where America is right now, right? In terms of like uh, pro-Black, pro-Muslim, pro-liberalism, pro you know, liberalism. So there's also that potential that is very surprising that it actually could happen, right? Um, but I think it's, you know, we cannot, we cannot really tell the future, but my gut feeling is that I don't think the Oscars do things twice. It's really kind of rare. And if it will happen, that means it's like out of like either great luck or actually the people have, especially with 2020, a lot of people stayed home. A lot of people watch films like online, right? A lot of with uh, Maya and Chris's films, the letter have had a lot of like kind of online screenings that reach a lot of people. And with Amjad's it being on Netflix Mina, it reached a lot of different people there. So, I mean, there's also that possibility that it could actually go into like a way where people can actually see African films as being competing as good as an, an Austrian film or a Colombian film or a Mexican film where they have bigger budgets, bigger governments, bigger actually ministries of culture that really have backing up and backing their countries because they see it as soft politics, right? They see it as a way to actually promote tourism as a way to promote cities, culture, and a like vision of what their countries are. So, you know, for me, it's like so-and-so. I don't know, Arij, what do you think on that point? I think you made excellent points as usual. I would also add, just in terms of what Malika was just saying about Parasite, you know, that film speaks for itself and that director is, he's stellar in, you know, all of his films that I've seen, I love, but, that was also the Academy making a statement about global cinema. It was also them really standing behind the South Korean film industry, which has been very successful, self-sufficient, booming. And there's a lot of support for their filmmakers there. And I think that on the continent, something that Statement would like to see and something that we are working towards day in and day out is cultivating an ecosystem that can really stand behind its filmmakers. Um, we heard some of that here tonight from our amazing filmmakers with us in this talk. I mean, it's one thing to go and make a film that, you know, these films speak for themselves. They're beautiful pieces of art. But if you don't have the homegrown support to really push you over the edge and compete at a level, um, that's always going to be an obstacle. So I'm optimistic about the state of global cinema. I think last year was a watershed moment. I do think we'll see more of that. I also think that on the continent, you know, I want the Durban International Film Festival to be like Cannes. I want it to be like Venice and I want Venice to look more like the Oscars. And I think the more that we sort of support each other, support our filmmakers, do these types of things, but also find money, you know, find equity investors for these films and these filmmakers and people to write checks for the types of campaigns that we need to see happen, because the work is good enough. Um, and so I'm, I'm optimistic. I think it's, you know, I'm, I'm very excited about the continent and the rest of the world in terms of films right now. We're in a good, we're in a good moment. 